Hi, and welcome to my broadcast. I'm keeping my commitment to myself and to my coach to keep doing a daily broadcast for Periscope. Sorry, for Facebook Live, if I keep saying that. <laughs> this is my daily Facebook Live talk, number 44, in an ongoing series. And um, it's after 9 o'clock in the evening. I'm actually at a social event, but I stole away to get this shot. I brought my tripod with me so I can keep my camera stable. So, by way of introduction, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I am a relationship transformation or relationship attraction expert. Number one best-selling author, speaker, and coach. Well, I hate the word coach. And I'm doing an ongoing series of Facebook Live Talks, a daily series right now. And this is number 44. This is Meshes, Messages. Let me start again. This is Messages from the Masculine. Number 44, a voice for the feminine. And the reason I'm speaking to this, actually, is because the event I'm at tonight, having a conversation about what inspires us and what we're driven by and what's most important in front of us. And I've talked about this in other broadcasts. I am doing this series in service to women, particularly in women's being feminine. And so I want to speak to that meta message versus the content I've been doing for the last few weeks. As I said in the conversation earlier in this room I'm in, so I'm just relaying what I said earlier, um, what's uppermost in my mind in my work, particularly in my work, is how much I've seen women being given second place. I'm passionate about women being respected, honored, and supported in their feminine power, leadership. There's so many words for it, but what I really feel most passionate about is women being fully expressing themselves however they choose in the world. Um, some friends of mine are very much into the sex, sexuality and the tantra conversations, not always the same thing, separate things. And so many women I know are involved in supporting other women, which is amazing, but there aren't as many men speaking to this from an honorable, authentic, and neutral place. Well, I'm not neutral about it. But the thing is, there's no, the agenda for me is to see women thrive. That's why I coach them to attract relationships that honor who they are. But also, I'm talking to women about being in their power. But it's a power that is feminine sourced in their heart, not power that is like the men that have basically been hmm, butchering the world to this point. So as much as I may be hated by the men for talking about this, perhaps, maybe men are getting around to this, I don't know. But so many women I know love hearing this, particularly from a masculine voice, because it's not something you hear very often, I know, ladies. So maybe I am the champion, in that sense, of being a passionate champion for the divine feminine that I talk about in my bio. But really what's, what's driving my heart is having been in the past, when in my teen years at school, in my dating life, and watching the women around me see them not being respected, but also seeing women, I mean, yes, I own up to this, women I didn't respect myself. But I'm growing up in that place. I'm maturing into being the man I'm supposed to be, being a masculine man who is a gentleman versus what I call him before, a dick, <laughs> in previous videos. I'm passionate about this, as you can tell. And my service to women is to keep that message going, to be a messenger of hope, a messenger of inspiration, a messenger of encouragement, and a messenger of truth. For you ladies out there watching this, for ladies in the world, to know that I stand for you. I stand with you, I stand for you. I support you in being fully expressed, to be in your leadership, in your fulfillment from a place of service, from a place of heart, from a place of care. Yes, I have selfish interests, very selfish interests. I want to live on this planet in a way that is healthy, that is fulfilling, that is embracing all. And for that to happen, I believe the feminine in women and the feminine in men needs to lead where we're going. So this is really the, the core of my message. Um, I, I didn't have a topic tonight to talk about, and again, I'm, a, I'm at a social gathering, so I'm doing a quick talk now as a commitment is to do a daily broadcast for 30 days, and this is just over midway through my 30-day commitment. But these messages from the masculine are ongoing, and this one in particular, because it was in the conversation I had earlier tonight, is really up for me right now, which is st to stand up and talk about what I'm about. I get the story later and talk about other things as well, and, I've, and I will hit, highlight those in previous talks, and I'll do it in future talks. But this is the crux of this. I'm passionate and, and dedicated to supporting women being in strength, in leadership, in amazing places of their own power, from a feminine, strong, healthy, and authentic place. 
So that's kind of it. <laughs> I'm just this is declaration, so it's not going to be a long talk. In fact, that's only been about five minutes. But I wanted to just say this because it needs to be heard. Maybe for me to hear it myself out loud, so I can watch the replay. And maybe for those watching, if you find this is how it lands for you, please share this out with people who you need to hear it. Share it with other women, share it with other men, share it in groups and audiences where women can hear this because maybe they haven't heard it from a male, from a man before, from a masculine hearted man, from his voice to say this to you ladies. We need you. We need you more than ever. Our planet is in need of you. The future of our society of our culture, of our human race, is really in front of you. It's at your beck and call. We are here to serve. Now, the men may not agree with this, but I believe we are here to serve you in the feminine as you lead, as you stand shoulder to shoulder with us, equal and different. This is what I'm calling forth in my own life romantically. It's also what I'm calling forth in the world for all of us to experience and explore and understand the power of the feminine that is needed more than ever, that is starting to be showing up in interesting ways, but to have it come forward in a fully authentic, expressed way for all women, all men around the world. I'm not explaining how, I'm talking about the what. So just understand that's where I'm coming from right now. So that's really what I wanted to say um, in a nutshell is, is that as I've said before and in my talks and in my introductions, my bio, I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I believe and this is what I feel is needed more than ever. So that's it. I'm doing these Facebook Lives every day. And again, if you, have anybody, if you want to share this out with anybody, feel free to share it out. If you have any questions or thoughts or support requests, please message me. This will be distributed on multiple platforms and I will be back in tomorrow with messages, messages from the masculine number 45. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves.